Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss some main points which will make you understand how to make arrangements of rooms for residential buildings, what are the usual requirements and purpose. Rooms should be arranged according to their functional requirements and for this, I have drawn a flow diagram. This diagram illustrates the relationship that should exist among rooms. All internal services should be worked out so as to minimize extensive plumbing and sanitary work. The bath and WC units should be adjacent to the rear walls. Facilities for washing, drying of clothes and utensils should be provided. First, I am going to discuss about drawing and living room. It is the main room and living area where family members and friends relax. It should be situated on the front entrance of the building and should not provide direct access to the bedrooms and toilet block. Sometimes this is used as combined drawing and dining room. It should be spacious to accommodate furniture for sitting. Guest room. The guest room may be located on the side of front baranda or by the side of drawing room without any connection with bedrooms or kitchen. Separate toilets should be provided with the guest room to maintain privacy of the householders. Guest room may be treated as, treated as office room also. Bedroom. The bedroom should be so located as to maintain privacy and at least one of its walls should be an external outer wall of the building to get natural ventilation and light. The orientation of this room should be north west for entry of cool breeze inside the room. Attached bath and WC is preferable for modern planning. There should be no connection with kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen should be located near dining room. Kitchen should be ventilated according to the standard of bedrooms near the ceiling as far as possible. There should be no connection with toilet block. Provision of cooking cells, cupboards, storage cells and washing utensils should be made in kitchen. Dining room. Dining room should be adjacent or attached to kitchen. For attached dining room, the activity of kitchen should be screened by a screen wall or partition. Location of drawing, dining and kitchen should be side by side. A wash basin should be provided attached or inside the dining room. Service window may be provided between kitchen and dining. Storeroom. For storing food, grains and other articles, it is possible to place those in any other room or in a storeroom. Ventilation and natural lighting is less important for this room. The let out space after fulfilling the requirements for all other rooms may be used as a storeroom. Bath and WC. Bath and water closet may be in a same room known as toilet. In modern planning, some bedrooms are attached with bath and WC, but one bath and WC should be provided separately for common use. This must, this must be so situated that at least one of its walls shall open to external wall. Dressing room. This should be adjacent to toilet and connected to bedrooms. Corridor. It is a cover common passage in the building for independent entrance to various rooms. Puja or prayer room. A small room or space at least 1.2 meter into 2.5 meter should be provided for prayer. This room should be well lighted and ventilated.
stair a set of stairs leading from one floor of one building to another typically inside the building is known as stair provision of stair even for a single story building is necessary for the purpose of inspection and clear clearing of roof for storied building the location of staircase should be such that each floor or flat is separated from the general movement of stair generally western or northern side of the building may be selected to locate the staircase for family use it should be located centrally and most of the rooms should have easy approach for this sta stair provided the privacy of any room does not suffer every staircase should be well lighted and ventilated for easy and safe movement garage even for low income group people the provision of a garage should be made for flexibility of planning in case there be no car for a family this space may be used as a study or store room veranda for economic use of space in the provision of veranda is becoming minimum in modern planning but a certain amount of free space area for a corridor and veranda is required to provide independent access to different rooms sitting space and for drying clothes etc a minimum width of 1.2 meter and having a length as to that of a front room may be provided Now this is a sample drawing of residential floor plan. If you like this video, please do subscribe the channel for more updates. Thank you for watching.